What is up guys and welcome back to Power Metal Gamer. So today we're going to take a look at a classic fighter. It's different from the original trilogy and it was the first Mortal Kombat game to go into the 3D kind of realm. So this game came out in 1997 in arcades and it came to consoles I think later on that year. And it was ported onto other systems as well. We had it on the PlayStation 1, we had it on the Saturn. I believe it was on the Saturn actually and we had it on the Dreamcast with Mortal Kombat Gold. Now I used to have this on the PlayStation 1 years ago and uh, I can't remember what happened it went on the hop and I had the Dreamcast version as well which disappeared a few years ago well, back when I was living with Trev. So anyways without further ado we have Mortal Kombat 4 here on the Nintendo 64. Now uh, when this game came out a lot of people weren't a huge fan of it because it kind of moved away from uh, the original kind of 2D kind of playground. So it was the beginning of Mortal Kombat becoming 3D. Now this game is absolutely fantastic. It introduced me to a lot of new characters like Riko and Fujin, which are two of my favorite characters. And it also introduced uh, Quan Chi into the series. And uh, without further ado, let's go take a look at this bad boy pop it in here. You gotta blow this shit. So here we are on the main menu of Mortal Kombat 4 guys, so let's go into options for a moment. Uh, I still remember a uh, cheat, but uh, it's going to show you the, the fatalities like without uh, actually doing them because they're really hard, you don't get time to do it. So basically a whole run and block for a couple of seconds. Hear a little laughter. Outstanding. Right, so... Well, what we're going to do is we're going to stick on fatality so basically to do it it's a uh, up and high punch i believe uh, the endings here is basically you kill one enemy and you see the ending for that character and uh, fatalities 2 is basically to do your second fatality each character had two fatalities and uh, level fatalities is like basically simple simple simplest bleh. it's easier to do your uh, fatality so we're going to jump straight into arcade here and uh, my rumble packs are shit because I need to change the battery on them. They're official Nintendo ones. So we're gonna do one on one. All these wires, everything is just weird with wires, man, nowadays. So uh, a lot of new characters introduced in this. There was uh, Shinnok, uh, Tanya. I'm just gonna go for uh, Fujin because Fujin's awesome. He's really cool. God of Wind! He's the baddest ass character in this game. And it really annoyed me that you see him in Mortal Kombat 10. But he's not a playable character. It really pissed me off. So, uh, okay, here we're. Here's the first enemy, Scorpion. Let's see if I still remember his moves. Whoa, I like that knee. Scorpion, I hit. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I love it. This game's deadly. And it's crazy to think that this was the last Mortal Kombat game in arcades. We like we never got like Mortal Kombat 9 or 10 in arcades. I love it. So we got Fujin's uh, fatality. Basically, you just press down and high punch with that cheat on. It's it's really cool. I think that's called uh, skeet shooting or like uh, something like that. I don't remember the name of it. But uh, yes, Fujin is awesome. If I get my ass whooped, I'll pick Reptile. I'm pretty good at Reptile as well. And guys, do let me know in the comments as well if you're a big fan of the Mortal Kombat 4. I was a bit iffy about it when it came out, so I was about on 9 in 97. Uh, I was kind of weirded out that, that the fact that it went 3D, but over time it introduced some really good characters. Uh, and it's kind of disappointing that Fujin hasn't been selectable in any Mortal Kombat since. I think he was in Armageddon. Do uh, quote me in the comments below on that. Uh, I really can't remember too much of Armageddon. We can do that same finish here again. But you've seen it already! <laughs> I love the noise. It's great. I got my old CRT TV here and uh, the N64 on the table. It's 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 great playing games. 
Here's Rico. He's a really good cool kill character as well. He's uh, one of Shinnok's lieutenants. And uh, if you complete the game with uh, Rico, he, he's sitting in Shao Kahn's throne and he puts on the mask. So everyone thought for years, you know, it's like Shao Kahn's son. Or he's some sort of relative, said Shao, Shao Kahn. Haha, you jumped into that, you bitch. <laughs> I'll probably actually complete this if Goro doesn't kick my ass. Yes, Goro's back in this and he's, a, he's an absolute arse. He's an absolute arse. I'm not too bad at this, am I? Oh, 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 don't make me take my weapon out if I can remember. Ah, bollocks. Man, the delay after you take a shot. It's not good. Oh, don't do that. Oh, Jesus, Rico, will you get up out of that guard, will you? Ah, oh, Jesus. I haven't done a video like this in ages where I just sit down and play games and talk shit with you guys. I, I couldn't miss it. And do let me know in the comments if you like these kind of videos. Uh, I, I, I really do enjoy playing games and talking about them as we go along. I'm not even going to get him with the... Ah, ah, bollocks! I was going to give him an uppercut and then I remembered, ah, that's the same as the fatality. <laughs> Looks like everybody's getting exploded around here. And guys, do let me know in the comments what your favourite Mortal Kombat game is. Uh, this one isn't my favourite uh, of all the Mortal Kombat games. So I'd probably give that to Mortal Kombat 9. Uh, I really, really like that game. It was a real return to form. And it had the x-rays, and the x-rays were awesome. Tanya, you are a traitor to a Denya. Give me that. That's too far away to pick up bollocks. I can play with gloves on, it's great! Leather gloves are best. <laughs> I give everybody a blowjob. You get it? Wind, blow. <laughs> it finishes them off. Stop with the... Oh yes, with that bitch. Oh, no! Ah. Oh, pancake shuffle! Oh, no. oh Jesus! It's very warm with all the lights in here. <laughs> I'm sweating in this jacket. Oh, I'd li like to die like that. Man, if they include uh, Fujin in Mortal Kombat 11, I'm gonna be super pumped for that. Okay, so where are we? Wins number four. So we got Jarek, Goro, and then Shinnok. We haven't lost yet, boys and girls. Uh, Jarek is also one of the last members of the Black Dragon. So he's got a lot of uh, Kano's moves. Who's throwing this weapon at me? A shite bag. Stop! Stop pummeling me! Stop pummeling me! Oh, Jarek, you arse. He might actually beat me. If he beats me, I'll play one more level with a, a reptile. Show you how good reptile is. Also, his fatality is crazy. And it's actually really funny. Actually, come on, Jared, just beat me. I'll take care. Uh, Reptile, come on. I'll let you. I'll let you away with it. Okay. <laughs> Ouch! You ain't gonna be walking to work after that one. So, uh, we're gonna put this in as. Um, Excellent. So, let me go for Reptile. Now, let me see if I can. Where's that little creepy run? There it is. <laughs> Acid spit his ass. Let me see. Oh, Reptile! 
The game's so fast. Oh my god. You nearly got me there, bye. Oh, I just wanna really wanna show you this finisher. Reptile finisher, it's really cool. Funny. It's disgusting! Oh power bomb! Never power bomb with a visible man. Oh no! <laughs> so close! So close, but so far. Oh Jesus! Oh shit, he's keep, oh, he's keep getting me with the holy kicks, I'm shit with- Ah, oh, stop! Come on. Oh no, don't kill me! No, oh, don't, don't do it! Oh, he finished me the same way, <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna leave it at that. But, uh, here's Reptile's finish, anyway. Oh yeah, have you a bitch? Have some of that. Okay, here we go. Oh. <laughs> the noises. <laughs> so guys, that is me done. <laughs> I'm done with this. Uh, that was really fun anyway. So guys, uh, do let me know down in the comments if you like these kind of videos. I will do more like this. And also, please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video around with your friends if you think it's worthy of sharing. And uh, yes, like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you later. As always, guys, keep the power.